itu tapi kita moderator sit in in center Halo. Halo. Kita dulu kan? Ya ya, of course. Like Ambil mikrofon. Oke, right, bismillah. Let's start. Oke, okay, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi once again. Thank you very much for joining uh, day one session number two. Uh, now we are going to have a forum. A forum is actually going to discuss brotherhood and ummatic unity through mentor-mentee relations. So it's, 
it is about us, uh, the seniors and juniors, or it could be uh, lecturers and teachers or administrators and academics. Yeah. So the 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 forum will uh, the forum will be moderated by uh, Associate Professor Dr. Zuljastri, and then we have four panels. Uh, we have the first one, Professor Dr. Rafiqul Islam from Diba. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Prof, your, your fans are here. <laughs> then the second panel is Professor Datin Dr. Irwani from Department of Finance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Then we have panel number three, Associate Professor Dr. Muslim Harsani Muhammad, Department of Accounting. And we have panel number four, last but not least, Haji Azhar Ahmad Sahabari, Administrative. Okay, so without further ado, I pass the floor to Dr. Zuzastri, please. It's yours. Okay, thank, thank, you. thank you very much, uh, Brother Dr. Aslam. Uh, just a bit of the housekeeping. Uh, we're having a congregational Zoho prayers eh? uh, for, may, uh, for, for all who, who miss today. Hopefully, tomorrow we have a congregational prayer at Umar Sajatra Hall, the jelly below, and also for Asar. Eh? <laughs> okay, uh, thank you very much, thanks uh, for coming again for the second session. Okay, we have a panel discussion entitled Brotherhood uh, and Umatic Unity through the mentor mentee relations. Okay? So, for the afternoon, of course, we like to emphasize a bit on the practical aspects, otherwise, we'll fall asleep. Okay, anyway, uh, just allow me to read uh, two one verses of the Quran and uh, one hadith. Uh, Surah Al Hujrat 10 says that uh, the believers are like brothers to one another. So promote peace and reconciliation among them and pray Allah that you, will, you receive mercy. Okay? And Sahih Bukhari and Muslim has mentioned that none of you are truly believers until he loves his brother what he loved for himself. So this is also uh, the theoretical aspect has been touched uh, very deeply by Prof. Akmal and uh, our brother Dr. Ibrahim Nuhu, okay. So in this context of Ibadah Camp, uh, the committee have uh, uh, come up with uh, this, what they call that mental venti uh, forum because we think it is useful. Hopefully by the end of this session, we can get some guidelines for, for us to practice in the department and the kuliah. And not only for academic, but also non-academic as well, okay. So, brother, uh, brother Aslam had already presented, so I don't have to present again. So, mentor menti, known as Murabi from the Islamic perspective. And uh, the way we do it today is uh, we go first round. There are two rounds actually. Yeah? First round, 10 minutes, uh, we'll invite the panelists to give their ideas. That will take us to about 3.10 or so. Okay. After that, we'll open up with a Q&A. And we will see how much time we have, and the, the panelists will have to summarize. Okay. So, has a great first speaker, uh, Prof. Rafiku. Yeah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. As salatu wa salam. Ala ashrafil anbiya'i wal musaleen. Wala Alihi Asahabihi Ajma'in, Honorable Chairman, Ibadah Camp 2022, Honorable Moderator, Associate Professor Dr. Jul, my friend, uh, fellow uh, panelists, colleagues, brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, first of all, I would like to extend my thanks and gratitude to the organizing committee for inviting me to uh, be in this forum and giving me opportunity to share 
some thoughts on this very important uh, topic, brotherhood and omatic unity through mentor and mentee relations. But I uh, have not prepared any PowerPoint slide. It's basically my sharing my own experiences. Uh, and I have been given 10 minutes. So inshallah, I will be finishing within these 10 minutes. I believe that uh, each one of us uh, wants to uh, work in a department where everybody is happy. Brotherhood is, is upheld everywhere. But what we see in the macro perspective, that's very saddening. I received uh, this uh, message in WhatsApp, in my WhatsApp group, uh, in my WhatsApp uh, from some group uh, yesterday. And I think this is very pertinent to share, but uh, it is in my own mother tongue. So I will be requesting Brother Yusuf Ismail to translate. Okay. Agdin Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tar sahabi dirke jigyasha korlen ami ki tomader namaz, roja o sadgar che uttom amoler kotha bolbo? Okay. But uh, he said that uh, I myself need to give the abstract. So the abstract is Prophet Sallam one day asked the Sahabas, companions, shall I inform you some ibadah which is better than Salah, fasting and giving sadaka? Obviously everybody was very much interested. Then Rasulullah Sallam said, it is joining, rejoining the broken relationship. You know, the, in the society, many things happen sometimes, brother, 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 sisters, friend, friend, relationship is broken. And Professor Aslam said that this is even, if you join this relationship, according to the studies, uh, Brother Aslam confirmed that it is from Tirmidhi. So uh, this is a very important point that we uh, intend to deal our life, live in a life where everybody is together. So that is the Islamic message. And the whole life Prophet Sallam upheld these ideals. So when we see the Muslim world, I will come back to uh, mentor mentee later, but this is a macro, macro perspective. I come from India and India is predominantly Hindu country, more than 80%. They are Hindus and we are the 20%. But one thing we all notice that if you ask a Muslim, who is your prophet? Everybody will take prophet Muhammad, no exception. No exception, anywhere in the world. What is your holy scripture? Everybody will speak Quran because we don't have any other. What is your religion? Islam. But if you ask this question to Hindu, what is your holy scripture? You will see that, you can verify. You will see that somebody will say Beda, somebody will say Gita, somebody will say Ramayana, somebody will say Upanishad, somebody will say Mahabharat, etc., etc. Who is your prophet? Who is your God? <laughs> then you know the answer. So many gods they have. But the irony is that if you think about the unity, I see that they are much more united than us. So what is the wrong? They are much more united in general. Of course, they have the caste system, I know. But in general, I'm coming from that country, so I know that Muslims, they are fragmented for petty, petty things. We should be uh, uh, ignored. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Imran, verse number 103, per perhaps, the first part, wa tasimu bihabli illa jamia, wa la tafarraku. This is forge that we, we have to hold fast the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we should not be disintegrated. This is farj because this is the, the Quranic instruction. This is Allah's, Allah's commandment. So uh, uh, we tend to criticize each other too much, which usually we can ignore. This is the major problem for us. We, too much talk about who is Hanafi, who is Shafi, who is this, who is that, who is coming from this country, who is from that country, and we forget this, this, this commandment of Allah. So that's my message, that we should not be talking too much little, little things. We can easily ignore, because after all, we have to die. And we have to be, we, we have to be selected in the day of judgment. No doubt about that. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask, what is your mazhab? No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask, are you Arab? No. Then what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask? Samal. And, and everything is there in the record. Imam Mubin is a, is, is a record. Everything is recorded. So uh, uh, colleagues, brothers and sisters, the message here is that to be united, the, the determinant is that uh, we should not be talking to little, little. Of course, Akida, Akida uh, uh, if it is a, related to Akida, that is a different thing. But small, small things like Madhab, all these kinds of things, I shouldn't be talking about that. In, in fact, this is my principle. I can, I can associate with uh, anyone, any Madhab, without any problem. I can, I, and also I have many Shia friends. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not ask, are you Sunni? Are you Shia? I mean, this is my personal opinion. That to united the Muslim, we have to sacrifice this. Then, inshallah, there was something. Now, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in Surah Al-Maidah, verse number two, help one another in acts of piety and righteousness. Help, but do not help, where? in sinfulness and transgression, and Allah is severe in punishment. Prophet Islam said, from, uh, it is from Muslim, whoever relieves a Muslim distress from the distressful acts, I mean the situations of this world, then Allah will rescue him from a difficulty of the difficulties in the hereafter. Means if we remove one obstacle from my fellow Muslim, then Allah will help me in the day of judgment. First as uh, I am uh, repeating the hadith from uh, uh, Bukhari and Muslim, Muttafiqun alayhi, that none of you believes until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. I find this is a very difficult hadith. I cannot, I, I, frankly speaking, I, I cannot. Some of the hadith which is very difficult, but very, very important. It says that that person cannot be a Muslim until and unless whatever he loves for himself, he also loves for his brother. So this is a very, very important message for us. Now, Coming back to mentor mentee, because this is the medium which will uh, lead to us brotherhood and multi unity, true. But it has to be implemented with a true spirit. And what is the true spirit? Is the sincerity. Uh, our Ustaz has mentioned in, in, the, in the morning session. I give you one example. Uh, this is uh, not related to Muslim, it is related to Christian. University of Pittsburgh, Professor Thomas Sati, he is the originator of analytic hierarchy process. He's uh, basically from, he was born in Iraq, then he migrated with his father, grandfather with to United States, long, long time ago. He passed away 2017, 14th August, at the age of 92 years. But you know, the, in US, in UK, there are many students, they go overseas uh, to, to, to study. One of them was, uh, 
Luis Vargas from Spain. Then Thomas Sati, uh, he, he studied there, University of Pittsburgh, masters and as well as PhD. And Thomas Sati identified this person is a very potential. He picked up, he nurtured, and they started working together and they develop analytic hierarchy process, AHP, as my, my main research method. And there are so much quality writing they have done both together. I cannot explain here within short time. Thomas Sati passed away in 2014, uh, 17. Now the number one personal authority in AHP literature work is Luis Vargas. This is example of mental mentality. How this can be successful? is the sincerity and also the cordial relationship, respect one another, very, very important. If there is a lack of respect in the relationship, I don't think that relationship will survive long time. Respect, mutual respect is very, very important. Mentors responsibilities to ask, the junior, junior means those who joined near. So don't mind, junior, senior, senior means those who joined earlier. Those who are struggling with their problem, their teaching, their research, whatever, and should be empathetic and all be always go to extra mile to help. I remember this is not mental mentee, one of my colleagues, one student, did not bring the calculator, which is very, very common uh, in the exam hall in central CSC. So the student told that, uh, doctor, I did not, I forgot to bring my calculator. This uh, lecturer came back to her office, her, her office and took the calculator and then went back to CSC and gave. <laughs> I cannot forget this kind of example. This is the, foundation of having good relationship, right? Uh, active listener for the mentor, not always talking. But active listener, listening is very, very good. It's very tough. Sometimes we tend to talk much, but <laughs> listening is also very, very important. And uh, anyway, uh, that thing is here. She mentioned about uh, uh, talking more on the uh, collaboration in terms of wishes. I'm not talking about the student mentor mentee, but many of the things will be equally applicable in terms of principles. Now, uh, for research, of course, we can apply FRGS and other, other grants together. Uh, that is uh, very, very, very much possible. Some other, some, are in, some international grants uh, working together. And more than that, publication. Everybody requires publication. So this publication should be, can be also done together. But uh, the condition is this, on the parts of the mentees, that uh, you need to have, I mean, particularly for the juniors, you need to have your career plan, career path, clear cut, everybody actually. And you need to identify who can help. We all need help. It's not that only junior need help from seniors, senior also need from help from juniors. It's mutual collaboration. So the, the mentee can identify the person, like say Luis Vargas, he identified that Tom Sati uh, can be my mentor. And indeed, the relationship was superb. Relationship was super. There are a lot of criticism came for, for, for analytic hierarchy process. These two together uh, were very bold to, uh, to, to, to answer, to respond to all the queries together. And these papers published in the top class journals in the world in my area. Like one, one journal is management science. So they work together, they published together. And they did until, until the last day of, of Thomas Sati. So another important point to be, kept in mind is here, I think I have to uh, continuity, that's called sustainability. sustainability, sustainable relationship. Is relationship is not just for one project or one paper, this has to continue. Unfortunately, that sometimes does not happen, but uh, we try, 
that continuity in, in, the, in terms of relations, in terms of collaboration. It is not just only one short job, one project uh, we finish and then that's it, no. Then the, that system will not be, uh, I mean, uh, over the long time, it will not be sustained. So we, we have to maintain that uh, continuity. And uh, also um, uh, much of the, I will say that, my message is that I will say that it is, onus is more on mentees rather than mentors. So the mentees should not be shy to come forward, to identify in this, in your department or other department or other kulia also, why not? So there are sometimes interdisciplinary and other people can also, we all belong to the same university. So uh, the mentee should come forward. Uh, one of my colleagues, he retired already, he said this, let them come forward and I will see, I definitely I will help, but they don't come, so how can I help? So <laughs> I think the message is clear, right? So I think uh, uh, meant to the, 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 our fellow brothers, sisters should come forward. We are here to help each other. As I said that if, 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 if somebody, the, the, the research has shown that if somebody helps some, someone else, then psychologically he feels better. It is not my, my, my statement is research, psychology, psychology. That if, if I help someone, I feel very good that I have helped. So that actually helps me. So uh, that kind of relationship we have to grow. But finally, I would like to conclude with uh, one verse, Surah Al-Insan, verse number eight and nine. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, it is the English one. Uh, and they give food despite their love for it, to, uh, uh, despite their love for it to poor. That means they give food to the poor despite their love for food. The orphans and the captives, they give poor orphans and captives saying, we feed you seeking Allah's countenance only means Allah's pleasure. In other words, Allah's pleasure only. Last sentence is very important. We do not wish any reward and thanks from you. Surah Al-Insan 8-9. People sometimes we expect that I, am, I, I have health. It's very practical. I have heard this many times. We get, we get disheartened, uh, sad, that, oh, this person has not said thank you. <laughs> may or may not. We are all human beings. Don't expect thanks. Then you will not get sad. Don't be sad, there's a book written by someone. Don't be sad. One of the principle is this. When you help someone, uh, you, get the, you expect the reward only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This person may give thanks, may not give thanks, does not matter. It's immaterial. But I will get, inshallah, if I help you, my intention, my niya, is that I will get from, uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah. So may Allah guide us and help us in all respects. Uh, wallahu alam, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi hey, Thank you very much, uh, Prof. Kapitu, for a very, uh, you call it, uh, helping and uh, mentoring. Eh? Already mentoring started already. <laughs> And I, I agree with you that many research says that if you feel or help someone, you feel very good. And this research are not from Muslim, but American research. And uh, if American style investors, you know, we should do more than that. All right, moving on, uh, Prof. Datin, yeah, you, your presentation. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, thank you, um, um, moderator, Associate Professor Dr. Juzasri, our fellow panelists, Professor Dr. Rafiko, um, also my, my, my mentor, Associate Professor Dr. Muslim, uh, also my friend as well as my mentor as well, but he's a bit senior than me. And uh, uh, Tuan Haji Azhar, 
who's going also going to be uh, my future mentor, inshallah, especially on part of the, the administration. <clears throat> um, seriously? <laughs> Today I'm wearing a cap as panelist. Eh? Tomorrow baru chef tau. So siapa tak tidur boleh makan sedap esok. Right. Um, um, there's a, a simple slides I prepare because um, I'm worried that you're going, you're going to be a real mujahadah after lunch time. <coughs> um, okay. Um, the, the purpose of the session now is to uh, enlighten all of us, uh, as well as reminding all of us why we are here. Why we are here in this Blue Valley Garden of Knowledge and Virtues in Kula Economics and Management Sciences. What do we do now here? Next. Okay, generally, we are not alone here in the IUM. We connect to each other. We relate to each other. We need each other. We depend on each other. Okay? We are part of the important components of IUM. Okay? Especially uh, the lecturers, the educators. Our main stakeholders are the students, okay? as well as the administrators. And the three of us must work together. There are certain aspects that our duties cross path each other. Okay, so we cannot work in silo. Okay, there must be certain area avenues that we can work together in order to achieve the objective, the mission and vision of IUM. Before that, let us be reflected of the Islamic worldview. Yeah, I, I believe all of you have already know this because um, that's the reason why we are here is part of the core curriculum of the IUM, the integration of knowledge and the, the, our roles as Khalifa. So generally, um, so that, that's us in read. Okay? Of course, we have uh, our commitment and our, uh, what we call our agreement, our commitment to Allah Al Almighty that is governed by the implicit contract. Implicit contract means the contract is not uh, in blue and white, but we do have our commitment with Allah. So what are, what are our two main commitments or main promises? First, whatever happened in life, whatever, we have to submit first to Allah. When we want to seek help, the first, we have to turn to Allah first. That's our first promise to Allah. Secondly, okay, we promise to Allah that we are going to serve others. Be kind to others, contribute to others. These are the two main commitments. So that's our first contract. And okay, in order to perform this commitment, okay, we need, we will engage with other stakeholders. So this is like a theory, economic theory. Lah, okay, whereby we, we need each other to carry out our daily needs. Okay, and um, and some commitment are governed by explicit, explicit contract. And uh, when we have a clear relationship with others, directly or indirectly, all of us will then submit to Allah. Lah. Okay? And this is what we have been doing as part as educators. Because we want to educate our students, our children, that for them to know Allah, the God consciousness, the reasons of why we are, why, why we are here, what, why we are doing this and that. Okay? And this is the, 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 the concept of istiklaf. Okay. okay, when we have understood our role as Khalifa, okay, next. Next. Okay, the concept of Khalifa. Eh? So as Khalifa, oh, so about the screen, right? Eh? The, the, apa? It covers. As Khalifa, Okay, as a Khalifa that, that have a self control you are the one that guide your life. You are the one that chose to be guided. You are the one that chose to be happy, for example. 
you are the one that chose to do this and that. Okay, as a khalifa, you have this self reflect. Always, you self reflect yourself, not reflecting other person. Muhasabah diri sendiri bukan muhasabah orang lain. If you self reflect yourself, you will tend to be less stressful lah. Okay, because one of the reason, many reason that we become very stressful because we tend to reflect other persons. Okay, and we create other person. But as khalifa, first of all, we have to reflect ourselves. What have we? What have we do? What have we done? If we have if you have a power authority, you can do change with the power. But if you don't have power, if you cannot do that, if you don't have any power, at least you give reminder, advice, uh, keep reminding, advice. That's what we have been doing to our children, isn't it? Of course, our children will treat that as nagging, but that's our role as murabi. Okay. To keep on giving reminding, Bilisa nihi. Fa'ilam tastatet, we cannot give advice. Nothing. You cannot be accessible to that person or that community. Fabi, call bihi. So pray in your heart so that he will be given taufiq and hidayah. Zalika adangful iman. That's the weakest level of iman. Pray. Okay. At least we pray to our students, pray to our community, pray to to our uh, leaders, governments. Okay. So that's. The roles as Khalifa. And then self criticize, okay, mu'ataba, self govern, self control, self restraint, and self advice, musharata. Uh, These are the four uh, traits of Khalifa okay, that we need to be uh, constantly reminded. Remember the worldview just now, okay, that we have to connect to other person, okay, and the Prophet has given us the best examples. Okay, by the prophet's features, a characteristic that is siddiq, being truthful, amana, trustworthy, tablir, all, always connect, connect, connected with people, not in in in, in silo, fatana, okay, uh, intelligence, uh, uh, intellectuals. Okay, so, so that's how you make yourself presence, and people will perceive you as someone that are useful, that can contribute to them. Okay, that's our the commitment that we have agreed with Allah, uh, our promises to Allah. Yeah, that is to commit, to contribute, and to serve others. So now reflect to our role now. Next. So now we are here in uh, life economics. Why we are here? What is your intention to be a part of the Kula economics and IUM? Is it to fulfill the stakeholders' expectations? Students, uh, UM, rectors, deans, head of departments, or for material rewards to uh, achieving uh, promotions, a particular post, uh, or title, professor, associate professor, assistant professor, uh, increasing salary with bonuses? Okay, certainly to achieve KPIs. Okay, we work very hard in order to achieve KPI because we know the, the consequences if we fail to achieve KPIs. Okay. Um, transformation, is it for self-transformation or for the uh, IUM or Kuliah transformation or at the upper level, nation, nation transformation? Maybe what we have been doing here in Kuliah, Kuliah maybe will give impact, either small or big impact to the uh, nation. And uh, of course, we always be reminded that whatever we do is to achieve or to get Allah's pleasure and blessings. So these are the intentions that we need to constantly be reminded. Okay, when we when we set our foot in the kuliah, set your intention. Why you are here? Because you know the role of intention. Even we are here in this conference room. What's your intention? Because intention differentiate between ada. Well, ibadah between routines and worship. If all of us here gather here in ibadah time with a clear niat to connect for ukhuwa, to learn new things, to, to share experiences, inshallah, everything that we do here within these four walls of the conference room will be accounted by Allah as ibadah. If you are, if you are struggling to fight against sleepiness, exhaustion, while well, to stay focused in the, in the session, inshallah, you will be rewarded 
with reward us of mujahadah or jihad. So nothing wrong having set a, a, a correct intention or good intention. Okay, because you never go wrong with a correct intention. Okay, so next. Because actions are based on your intention. If your intention is to seek Allah's pleasure, okay, to bring a betterment to ourselves and to others, inshallah, you will be rewarded accordingly. At least rewarded as uh, ibadah or jihad or what tadi? mujahadah. So, can you imagine if let's say, so now later, let's say lah, let's say, Malaka Israel say hi during this session in the conference room. When you will, will be leaving this world as uh, mujahadah, as shahid, kan? Terus syurga tanpa hisap. So that's important of intention. But if you come here without have without have any clear intention, you will only get exhaustion, uh, what call fatigueness, boredom. That's it. You will get whatever that you have intended. Okay, next. <clears throat> So next, so I go, I zoom straight away to the mentor mentee relationship because one of the aspects of our connection to others, especially in the context of the kuliah, is our connection to our fellow staffs, academic or non academic staffs. And one of the way how to get connected to each other is by mentor and mentee relationship, whether it's formal or informal. And this is the Quranic guidance. There are four principles based on uh, Surah An-Nahlu, verse uh, 125, that you are familiar with. Bil-Hikmah, hasan, inna sabili, bil this Quranic verse outlines four important, important principles okay, of being connected to each other. First, by wisdom. Okay, for example, understanding the situation, we have the ability to balance between ideals and reality, understanding the priorities, and we deal with people based on their level of capacity, uh, strengths, intellectuals, and praise the slightest improvements and praise every improvement as well. The second principle is good counsel. Okay, for example, we let the other person safe face, meaning that we, we keep their honor and conceal their eye. Correcting people's mistake in private, use encouragement, make their faults easy to correct. This is very important eh? because one of the uh, rights and responsibilities as, as clique or as friends, you know what? One other thing that we need to always be thankful when we gather here as part of the Kula Economics family, big family, we are connected among each other as colleagues, as sahaba, as friends. And it's not a simple title. Sahaba or title is a title granted by Allah. Of all people in this world, why Allah destined us to be here in this kuliah? So when you hold a title as sahaba, you have certain rights and obligations. For example, you want to criticize your sahaba. You cannot criticize openly. In Facebook, for example, because you have the image liability to your sahaba. Because the public will see, oh, because his, his sahaba criticized online. Public, oh, that must be true. Okay. So the best is in private and build hikmah. The third principle, argument in the best manner. If you need to argue because of the agreement and we have discussed in the morning just now. Okay. Uh, the ethics of this agreement. Okay. Being in this agreement is human nature. Human nature is always in this agreement. Okay. But we have ethics, we have moral, we have way how to express our disagreements. Being in disagreements is sunnah, human nature. But maintaining silaturrahim, ukhwah, is wajib. Ukhwah is wajib, disagreement is harus, is fitrah. So that's why in certain situations, we just let go things. Let's just let go things for the 
for the sake for the for the sake of ukhuwah. Okay, even there's a hadith that uh, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam have mentioned before. I can't remember the the matan, but uh, uh, the hadith informed that the hadith. Uh, Okay, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam okay, reported that okay, I guarantee a house on the outskirts of paradise for one who refrains from arguing even if he is right and a house in the middle of the paradise for the one who refrain from lying, from arguing and a house in the highest part of the paradise for one who perfects his akhlaq or manners. Okay, so this show the importance of maintaining good khuwah or saturahim. Okay, and the fourth principle, tawakkal. Okay, tawakkal, full trust in Allah, okay, that believe that everything uh, has a reason, that in certain situation, whatever, whoever, whatever, whoever that are brought before us, whatever persons, people that Allah has brought before us, with these characters, with these problems, with these advantages, or you get a, a bossy dean, for example, dean, or you get a, a very strict head of a department, you get a very lazy colleague. All those personalities that Allah brought before your eyes is for you to reflect yourself, what you have been doing, what you have done and you have been doing, not for you to criticize. And you have to have a strong belief in Allah that all that are brought by Allah as part of your tarbiyah module. That's your module of tarbiyah. That each of us have different types of tarbiyah module. You cannot compare with other person in terms of their test or tarbiyah modules. Okay, so that's, so that's important of tawakkal of full trust in Allah. Okay, next. So I summarize, these are the features of the uh, high impactful mentor-mentee relationships. Okay, for a successful mentor, mentor a mentor must make time to listen okay, to the mentee, must always connect, have regular meetings, must celebrate the mentee's success if there's any, promote mentee, assess the progress of the mentee, whereby successful mentee must identify the mentors who that he, he or she think can guide her, okay, have clear career goals, must be productive, set expectations. Most importantly, the mentee is the one that drives the relation. You have to show your seriousness and your commitment to, to seek or uh, to gain knowledge or experience from your mentor. Next. Okay, so I zoom further. Okay, application of mentor mentee within the kolia in four aspects. First, in teaching us and assessments. Okay, in certain uh, subjects, okay, in certain subject, we can uh, apply co teaching, especially among young lecturers. Young lecturers, they just completed their PhD or they just entered into employment, they mostly are quite blurred, lah, I, would, I would say. And they need guidance. And one, one of the way, especially for the subject that have more resources in terms of teaching staff, you can, the department can arrange for, for, for co-teaching. And depending on the courses and the resources the department have, perhaps we can arrange for teaching rotation. Okay, I have to mention this because some senior lecturers, okay, maybe this is a quite sensitive issue. Uh, some senior lecturers, you may be comfortable with your subjects. Okay, you have been teaching the same subject every semester. You have been comfortable with your notes and slides. And at one point, you need to co-teach, invite the new staff to teach with you. And you also need to teach new subjects if there's any new subjects. And... Um, Especially some subjects, okay, some subjects are kind of fixed or standards, rigid, fixed or standardized. Some subjects are kind of evolve, they need to be updated uh, to be in line with the industry's expectation. So senior and, and junior staff must work together, okay, and, and must rotate these teaching responsibilities. So this would lead us to be uh, prepared to spend some time, what we call now work of time. Maybe you need to teach more than 12 credit hours or nine credit hours, depending on the needs of the teaching responsibilities. And also one of the good thing that 
if we pair with the junior lecturers, they, most of them are more creative in terms of presentation assessment. So you can explore that in terms of creative assessment strategies with the uh, junior or mentees. Research publication, okay. Uh, okay, get them joined into your research teams. Okay, joint authorship, no problem with joint ownership. Authorship, if you understand the level of uh, amana uh, uh, and sense of responsibilities towards your public publications. Consultancy, okay. Another thing that I would like to stress on this, the mentee, especially the junior staff, they are not sure of the area of interest. Because most of them will begin with their PhD research. Okay, so they will start with that, but there's no, uh, I mean, should not be put a limit if we invite them to join certain research area that they may have future interest in that area. Okay, so the mentee, the junior lecturer, you have to be prepared for you to explore other areas of interest apart from your PhD uh, specialization. So no worry if you have to uh, teach like different subjects every semester, just treat that as the opportunity to learn new things, all knowledges, okay, explore new knowledge, all knowledges, and in fact, you are still have some sort of energy <laughs> with your age, inshallah. Consultancy and training, okay, expose the, the junior mentee to the industry, okay, um, get them to be exposed to the networking. Perhaps we can also uh, engage them to become co-trainer, okay, and uh, develop, developing the, the module. I think all this we have been doing. It's just that sometimes we are very comfortable with our mentees, our supervisees, our uh, co-teachers or co-lecturers, and we tend to select who's who. And another uh, aspect that I'm quite concerned is we are very much department department centric okay, department centric so we need to explore either in terms of teaching in terms of research in terms of consultancy to be across departments inter departments not very much department centric because we should be under the umbrella of cooler economics and then uh, spiritual and social activities can okay, utilize the existing forum or platforms for example department seminar or even meeting to have the connection among the teaching staffs. And of course, we are targeting towards Jahtera ESG, but don't forget our main stakeholders, our main customers that are students, okay, students and our own staffs as well, in terms of uplifting uh, their spiritual and social aspects. Okay, so uh, that's the, the presentation so far, because there will be two rounds, then. Huh? So, Okay, so that's all um, my talks about a mentor mentee within the kulia. Wallahu alam. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Thank you very much, uh, Prof. Bettina. So we go to the tech pan the panelist, Prof. Uh, Muslim. Yeah. Where you want to present? Yeah, Tafada. Yeah, Assalamualaikum. Uh, thanks, uh, Prof. Zul and fellow panelists. And I know that definitely it's, it's a very uh, tough time at this point. And, um, and uh, I'm not sure um, because when we are given these topics, but at least uh, personally, and uh, the, you know, the focus is on uh, mentor menti relationships. Um, but it's quite because to define mentor mentees are uh, quite dynamic in my view, <laughs> because you can always learn uh, from each other. Um, so I keep it that way. And uh, so this is my view, and definitely uh, I know that uh, we are humble. Uh, there are so many uh, very excellent uh, staff and individuals uh, in this room. So this is just uh, my insights and understanding, possibly. Uh, through observations and uh, definitely being, uh, you know, influenced by so many factors uh, in between. And that's why, um, okay, I will quickly uh, touch uh, these three themes, knowledge, our students and our community. And, uh, and uh, don't, 
you don't have to worry because uh, it's only an, another three slides and then, <laughs> then we pass it on. Okay, um, and I think broadly um, and I definitely will be, will be, it was uh, very specific uh, in terms of establishing uh, relationships between mentor and mentees uh, by Prof. Rafikul and Prof. Idena. Uh, and uh, maybe I just, you know, what I'm having is just to touch uh, very broadly and possibly, you know, something that uh, I'm not sure because it's, it's, it's very difficult, but I believe that uh, we can, this is an opportunity um, to share, you know, I, you can call it ideas or insights um, possibly. And, but what is the fundamental is uh, to make this place great. And uh, we know that uh, we have this Kulia and we have this university and so special. And uh, I think that we can contribute a lot. Um, okay, they've been done. I mean, our, our predecessors have done fantastic job. Uh, they put their mark on the, on the global map. Uh, now we have our students, CEOs and others, uh, you know, but now, you know, it's our time. And, and I'm not sure our time, maybe your, your time, because, uh, you know, it, it's, it's time is very fast. Now uh, I'm retiring also. <laughs> I thought I'm still young, but when I look at, you know, the mirror always, wow. It's <laughs> okay, um, so uh, anyway, for the next slide. Okay, oh, so you can see, but um, maybe that's a blessing in disguise. <laughs> yeah, I, threw, uh, I think uh, in, at one level, uh, we have to recognize um, nowadays is, um, Okay. <laughs> we can turn that to uh, yeah, to black the color. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um yes, uh, I think I maybe, you know, at my level uh we are not sure because um, COVID, you know, it was a very challenging time, and uh, we we done that uh, during that time. I mean, every you know, staff, students have that problems, but at the same time, this also keep us, you know, because uh, basically we don't we did not have that uh, close engagement in terms of uh, communication and meeting each other except uh, online. I think by itself posed certain challenges. I'm not sure. Uh, this is my perception. Possibly we can share. That's, um, and definitely now we have uh, new staff. Uh, you know, I, I don't know, is it because of, uh, I've been away, I just returned from my sabbatical, or maybe um, uh, because of COVID, because uh, hardly, uh, we've, I found new faces, but it's hardly we can talk to each other. I mean, there is a gap, um, but possibly these are the concern by, uh, by the committee, yeah? by the, by the uh, Ibadah Camp Committee on uh, mentor mentee relationships. Right, uh, I think the idea is possibly another is, um, you know, if it is uh, relevant, okay. Um, I mean, as I'm not sure, as I mentioned, um, mentor mentee means uh, I can be mentor at, the, at one time and I can be mentee at the same time because uh, I do understand. Can everyone, uh, you know, as an academic staff, admin staff, you have all your strength and capacity, uh, capabilities. And uh, even if you are, if you consider yourself uh, new, uh, definitely you come here with certain good qualities and definitely you can excel. And uh, people like me possibly, you know, a bit old, uh, creativity is get, it's declining. So possibly we can, you know, that's how we can strengthen each other. Right, um, so I think it's important uh, that uh, we develop our research networks uh, internally and externally. I think uh, definitely was mentioned by uh, both uh, professors and uh, among our colleagues, because a common interest possibly that we can develop into a research works. And definitely, I mean, uh, your main uh, focus based on your teaching, because some, sometimes we have core subjects that we teach Right, and uh, another option possibly, uh, don't keep it only within uh, the, the, the faculty or our kuliah. Sometimes uh, we have to get our networking also expanded uh, beyond the kuliah and beyond the universities. Uh, nowadays, I think the call for 
interdepartmental, interkulia now, and also between you know uh, universities. I think we can develop those uh, you know through engagement and definitely the easy one through our friends and others. I mentioned uh, you know should we we have our supervisors. They are a good source of our uh, research network. Definitely our fellow PhD peers when you when we did our studies. Um, you know, and they can still source of uh, definitely our students, okay, and uh, academics in both public and private universities. And uh, we can, if we have contact, sometime through friendship, it will develop to uh, research projects and others. Okay, uh, opportunities can come at any time. Uh, we we cannot tell the, the colors, um, and it's, it's interesting. I think I, you know, because the current environment nowadays. Um, innovation or new ideas, uh, high impact projects can come from anyone, uh, not necessarily from very experienced, you know, uh, or it can be from both. Anyone can, can provide that, so not an issue. So uh, uh, next is network with industry. Uh, I think depending on your field and, uh, of, uh, of studies and your expertise, I think, uh, and I, I don't think in our Kula is a problem. Uh, it's just that we can enhance them. Uh, and I think this is a place where possibly uh, uh, the seniors or those who have direct uh, access to the industries can help or can introduce our uh, new staff so that they can also participate. All right, uh, okay, that's why I put that word, engaging between mentors and mentees in KNMS. So who are the mentors, who are the mentees? Uh, I think it's hardly we can define because everyone, if you uh, have that expertise, like yesterday, uh, uh, where's the Dr. Ahmed? You know, I don't know to use uh, because they, we have uh, running, uh? Huh? Stava, Stava. Huh? So uh, it shows I, I was, I'm aging. So I thought it's a simple apps, but then I have to I have to WhatsApp him for that for for direction uh, for you know uh, to get it to get it hooked with the with the apps. So uh, it's a simple example, but I think uh, everybody have their excellent. Uh, uh, skills that they can share with others okay and um, i still remember uh, just for sharing uh, uh, you know uh, we were blessed last time uh, so i think from our kulia you know frgs uh, frgs was new that time was first launched and um, uh, throughout the university uh, only three project approved and two of them from our kulia and uh, so one of them definitely from our team uh, at the department of accounting so was, I was so blessed uh, with the with the assist with the guidance uh, by this by the by the seniors. So, you know, ideas can come from us, and but uh, we can collaborate, and definitely we can uh, uh, go forward uh, further. And uh, transcend departmental barriers, uh, useful with Islamization. Okay, this is our core business, Islamization. Okay, in one way or another, uh, we may consider ourselves from conventional background, uh, but uh, I think the effort, the initiative, I think fantastic what has been achieved by our staff members on Islamization in whatever form. It is so uh, unique and, and there are so many ways uh, to go to approach it. And, uh, and definitely in my case, uh, if, I, if I want to, you know, basically use, uh, you know, Islamization or Islamic perspective in certain uh, um, you know, studies and, and fee, uh, perspective, we can always consult our, our definitely one is from our own understanding, uh, you know, with proper channel of uh, uh, study uh, because uh, on Quran and Hadith, but we also at the same time, we have a panel of experts, uh, uh, Ustaz and others that can help us. All right, so we focus on knowledge for contemporary and food. I think it takes a long time. Huh? I thought it's very short. <laughs> Okay, um, I, I put that contemporary and future use uh, simply because um, I think we have our research, we have our engagement uh, with our students, uh, with outsiders. So all that uh, definitely, you know, improve our knowledge, our understanding. Uh, we have research, improve our knowledge. Uh, we have a consultancy also that can also improve our knowledge and skills. And uh, yeah, who knows? I mean, nowadays, in, in early time before, like maybe 20 years ago, publication, you know, by individual members is very limited. And, um, and uh, uh, but nowadays everybody publish and okay. Uh, uh, and some of us are, you know, have many publications and highly cited. 
So uh, we can achieve that in, uh, you know, among us, uh, you know, we have very high citations, okay? It's an example. Uh, this just, um, but of course, I mean, we can share our knowledge from many platforms, not necessarily by publications. Uh, our engagement with, the, with outsiders, with itself, our stakeholders can also, uh, will be an effective channel for us to share uh, our, our, our ex basically, you know, our findings and others. So I put that a Nobel laureate, possibly, you know, maybe, you know, we never know. Uh, I mean, that possibly the, the next aim. When I, when I mentioned Nobel laureate among us, we never know. Um, it can be individual, it can be team. Um, and, uh, and I think that's possibly, possibly at this point we put it as a dream, but in the future it can be materialized, okay? Uh, and I think our universities are, you know, so many achievements uh, that, uh, that, that are recognized globally. Next. Okay, our students, uh, our focus, great to see them. And, um, and uh, possibly because of the time uh, I just mentioned, um, uh, just to share, you know, uh, I think every one of us, we care about our students. And uh, I think that was demonstrated definitely during uh, COVID. Uh, I was the deputy dean uh, that time. Of course, we served 2,800 students. And uh, I think we tried to them during a very difficult time. Still, we tried to get them educated, have their classes. It cannot be done uh, by individuals. It only can be done by our cooperation. And, and I know that many, many of us are helping our students in many forms. Uh, uh, men mental challenges during that time. Uh, I, can, I mean, I can... I can mention names, but I think everybody are involved. Uh, it's a great time. It shows that we can contribute, uh, we can achieve. And Alhamdulillah, you know, we went through this COVID. Uh, there are problems and challenges, but uh, overall, I think we are in good shape, Alhamdulillah. So, um, and, and definitely, uh, 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 as a, if you consider yourself as, as uh, relatively new, then, uh, yeah, we have to be very a bit sensitive. One, of course, for us to impart the knowledge, uh, academic, uh, but at the same time, we have to be also vigilant on our students because sometimes they have personal problems, okay? If you can handle them personally, you can always refer to your head or departments uh, or to the deputy dean, and definitely uh, the final person will be the dean. Eh? Okay, um, uh, I think that that is uh, important. And lastly, nowadays, okay, we are also, uh, next slide, um, you know, to, to, to look at our community, uh, I le you know, uh, and we look at two dimensions as well. We learn from them and they also can learn from us. And uh, I think our Kulia have made very fantastic with the flagship projects and others. This, uh, you know, the, I think definitely a continuity is important. Um, internal and external community. Uh, we, I think now we start seeing that uh, we're also providing services within uh, the community, uh, within the, the, the universities, and uh, as well as uh, the external parties. And I think we are very good, uh, uh, relatively, uh, on uh, industry engagement, uh, but at the same time, we also have to look at uh, local communities. This has been, uh, you know, there's so much progress has been done by our Kulia, and hopefully, you know, uh, more impact. Because definitely learning from them is, is for me, is new. But uh, of course, I mean, at the personal level, definitely it's not new. Okay, but to make it as a formal part of our institutions. Uh, so I believe uh, that will be definitely a, a, a dimension that uh, worth exploring uh, because you never know the local wisdom that can, we can bring them uh, to the global stage. Uh, so possibly we become the medium. Um, lastly, the last slide, uh, in briefly in conclusion, uh, definitely, uh, I mean, through the discussion this morning and in what we have uh, with this a bit of sharing, uh, with Islam, Allah makes us one as Ummah. Uh, we can be both ment mentors and mentees for knowledge and our engagement and contribution to our students and community. Definitely, ikhlas is very important. Hopefully, this, uh, you know, can become of our amal jariah uh, to gain the pleasure of Allah. Thank you. Excellent, very good. <laughs> I don't know what you said, you were going to be short one. Eh? <laughs> okay, let's uh, finish up with the first round. Eh? Uh, we kindly invite Tuan Abji.
Ya kepada Raja Azra. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Inna alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. Wa ala wa man wa ala. Wa ala rabi syurah ya swadri wa yusiri amri wa halun ukhdita min lisani ya fakahu qawli. Ya fakahu qawli amma ba. Thank you to the moderator. Uh, Associate Professor Dr. Zul. Um, Insyaallah, my point of view today is on peers mentoring. Okay, uh, let me speak into bahasa, probably mix bahasa Melayu and bahasa Inggeris uh, for influence my um, percakapan. Insyaallah. Okay, peers mentoring. What uh, what is peers mentoring? Okay, so peers mentoring that I mentioned is uh, over here in the perspective of um, administration. Okay, for the uh, for the uh, for a, daripada segi sudut pandangan uh, pentadbiran. Okay, what I'm trying to um, explain here is the mentor is. Uh, Pementoran ialah dalam rakan sebaya, it means it is between the, um, workers, the seniors workers who are going to train their mentee who are new in that uh, field. Okay. Maksudnya, kita orang yang lama, yang di dalam perkhidmatan, yang telah lama ber, berkecimpung dalam perkhidmatan, apabila kita satu-satu perkara berlaku, eh, especially when comes to retirement when comes to um, transferring okay so the person who are going to be transferred is someone uh, that a lot of experience that is having so before the transaction happen seems is going to be the mentor okay so he need to delegate all the information, all the um, experience that he has to a new uh, person. Okay, it can be uh, mentor between one to one, or probably mentoring between one to uh, a few groups. Okay, for the example, um, having service for the uh, mahalla. Uh, for almost 10 years, okay, before I've been transferred to uh, Kulia of Economics. Okay, um, so before I've uh, been uh, transferred, so most of the mentees, especially I'm calling them the mentees because I'm on the, uh, the, among the seniors, okay, they ask for advice, they ask uh, for uh, how to manage and uh, to run. Um, especially. So we have um, um, a program for easy to use. Okay, when uh, the registrations coming. Okay, we have a, one program that can be used um, easy or friendly use. Okay, ia ia ni menjadi satu pemudah pemudah cara lah. And jadi saya tinggalkan sesuatu, so I leave uh, my expertise with them, so they can use it uh, for the betterment of the uh, department. So, so when I come to Kulia of Economics, now I become the mentees. So I have to look for senior staff at my place. Yeah, I have to gain uh, the information. I have to ask for the advice, and I need also um, support. Uh, from um, the person who leave the place, for me to set the goal, okay? Untuk kita mencapai matlamat agar kita punya uh, perjalanan bertakbiran menjadi sesuatu yang berjaya lah, yeah. So I still learning, okay? I still learning. Uh, hopefully my mentors, uh, sisters Hilda and brother Faisal, can well train me, okay? give more information, especially to my HOR, uh, Dr. TJ, okay? Uh, so they may guide me. 
Okay, inshallah. Um, so, next please. Next slide. So, who is our mentor actually? Okay, who is our role model? Okay, next please. So, over here, I just put Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is our mentor. Okay. Mm. So, Nabi Muhammad menunjukkan banyak uh, cara dan keedah dalam uh, pemantoran. Okay. Apa yang ingin saya apa yang ingin saya sampaikan di sini ialah kita lihat uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala design Prophet Muhammad as the first mentor who lecture, organize and mentor halakah. Okay. So he is the one who uh, monitor the halakah. So we are great to be in IIUM because we have malakah, halakah also. Okay. So during my time, at least 1992, okay, we perform this uh, group of halakah, part of mentors and mentees program also. So whereby we appoint nakib and nakiba, so we add 10 or 11 students to be a mentees. Then we call all the nakib and nakiba as well as nukaba by that time to have inter inter intellectual, intellectual discourse whereby all the um, uh, topics eh, uh, to be discussed and it was headed by our chief mentor okay our chief facilitator during that time so we glad okay uh, syukur to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we have this kind of program okay um, Secara tidak sengajanya kita we train, we train them to become mentor and mentees. Okay. So Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the best example for all mankind. Among his extraordinary qualities and attributes, he is an extraordinary husband, a perfect father, and a unique grandfather. He was also a great statesman, judge, and spiritual leader. Okay, that is the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Muhammad. This messenger is also exam example for every human being in this world who believe in Allah and the day of resurrection. Resurrection. The world has many scholars, okay, and preachers, but no one is great as Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So. Um, hopefully, uh, we also, as mentioned uh, by uh, my colleague, okay, we are maybe we are mentor and maybe you are mentee also. Mentor, the example is we are the father, we are the leader of our families. So the mentees is come coming from the uh, wife, childrens. So one day. Allah will ask, okay? Allah will ask to us, what is your responsibilities to your families? So if you are a good mentor, you will be becoming good mentee to all of your families. Okay, inshallah. And the last part. The last uh, verses of Al-Quran. Uzbillah min ashaton rajim. Laqad kana lakum rasulullah uswatun hasana. Okay. Um, jadikanlah Al-Quran sebagai panduan dan pedoman dan Nabi Muhammad SAW adalah sebaik-baik ikutan. So, berilah kita menjadi mentor dan juga menti yang berpandukan kepada Al-Quran dan juga hadis. InsyaAllah, I think um, hopefully um, ia memenuhi apa yang dikenaki dalam program kita pada petang ini. InsyaAllah. Uh, thank you to all. Barakallahu fikum. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah. So we managed to complete eh, up to 3.50. Right. So now we'll open up the question and answer uh, session. I'm sure there are many, many of that since uh, we cover not only the academic non-academic as well right so after that uh, maybe we do a wrapping up session eh? anyone first question anybody would like to 
set some clarification or even some suggestion uh, because we hope after this there'll be some kind of uh, I don't know if it's already mentor mentee in the department, then it's good to just continue. If not, maybe this is something that, you know, maybe the HOD are also here to have some kind of a uh, trial or something like that. Okay. All right. First question. Oh, there. Any first question there? Anybody? Any clarification or anything like this? Don't be shy. We are very open, brothers and sisters. Yeah. All right, sisters first. Yeah, Assalamualaikum. All right. Uh, just now when I listened to the panelists, uh, you all mentioned about uh, stakeholders in our university, particularly our kuliah, who are the students, the academics, and the admin. But I think we should also, we should not forget the technical staff because technical staff, they are not admin. So we have three academic, uh, admin, and technical staff. Uh, those who are in that room. That's all. Thank you very much. So I did men technical. So huh? Naji, maybe you want to mention technical stuff. So Jasmine, you have a question? Yeah, my question actually is very uh, short. Um, I would ask all of you, um, what do you think uh, stifles communication? Stifle communications uh, to be reduced as much as possible. Uh, the more we speak, the more we speak, the more you know the many things can go around. So we uh, in our circle we should be uh, talking about some. Of course, sometimes we can joke. You know, uh, it is allowed, and even Prophet Salam has done this. But uh, Professor Aslam has said that uh, if you would have known what I know, then would you would have cried more. You would have cried more. So that's a very uh, uh, steep warning to us. So we should be taking life, of course, uh, sometime uh, easy, but most of the time seriously. So that's my uh, comment. Uh, uh, we, if we if we talk too much, then sometimes we may hurt. Even through some uh, stifle comments like those, so we tend to be very careful. Okay, I'm not telling that it is totally prohibited, but can be reduced and uh, be careful. Okay, very much. Yeah, yeah. I have a question. Oh. Um, this is exceeding the KPI given by Dr. Hairo Azlan. Hairo Azlan again. again. Okay. If it's good, then it's from him. Lah. So. Okay, Sula. Uh, all the while, I think the presentation seems to be looking at the hard stuff or things which must be seen or which could be seen in terms of output and outcome. What about uh, mentor mentee for things which are more relaxed. I, I'm, I'm relating my example, my personal experience. I have, uh, I think, Dr. Alias to uh, give credit to because he really makes me feel at home with the kulia. And he doesn't expect me to come up with another KPI from whatever engagement that he has with me. It's more like making the environment just nicer to be around. Okay? Lunch buddies. I mean, in the end, we were lunch buddies. Yeah? 
So I survive. I I must give credit to him. I survive in this kuliah, uh, day in day out, big in big chunk because of his unofficial effort. So I wonder what kind of, uh, I mean, whether this kind of mentor menti worth talking about. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Teman Yudi. As I uh, mentioned uh, during my presentation, eh, um, it's included the social and spiritual well-being because um, remember, what's our intention coming to the office? Is it only merely to achieve our KPIs or to fulfill our teaching responsibilities? But rather we come to uh, the IUM every day. Now, after this, we have to come every day, especially when the new semester commence in two weeks time. This is our intention, why we are here, what makes us happy coming to the office. There must be certain pulling factors, why most of us are still here, regardless, there are lots of pulling factors. First of all, myself, there has been lots of pulling factors, but why I'm still here, serving more than 20 years already, even Dr. Asha have, a, have already left. Okay, he have lots of other pulling factors, but why I'm happy in, in, the, in this kuliah. One of the reasons because of the environment, the Ohua. Okay, the, 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 the familiar faces, even the devils. The devils, I think I'm very much familiar with the devils in UIE <laughs> compared in other, other places. And, and also, I feel beyond contained when I serve IUM, I can really feel honest in delivering uh, uh, lectures, for example, because we know that we have a sense of responsibility, not only as lecturer, but also as Murabi. Okay, And our responsibility doesn't stop only within the classrooms. We get connected to our fellow buddies, uh, students, even outside the classrooms. Not only the staff, even I think one of the happy moments that I have in IOM, I believe you share the same things. For myself, I'm still happy seeing Kaati still around, Kaana. Okay, that have been serving Kulia, even um, and I reported duty over 20 years ago, still the same family faces. I can always turn to them. They know all my stories, personal stories. Okay, there are lots of drama in this, in this Kulia. So that's one reason why we feel happy. And this is actually the essence of mentor mentee in the real life. Um, yeah, although it cannot be measured and contributed to our KPIs. I think uh, <clears throat> the relationship we are talking about mentor mentee, it is not just like in the like ISO, ISO process that it has to be uh, in the process and it, has, it will be audited. I think no, no. So it is just like at uh, uh, Dr. Ali has helped you, he has helped many. It, it should be like this. So whether you call mentor, mentee, or something different does not matter. No. So we should be we should be helping each other formally, informally, whatever. Yeah. Mr. Said, said the question. Yeah. One question. Okay. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, just want to share because um, when we discuss about the the ah uh, yeah the prof uh, one. Uh, my ex, uh, uh, testing. Okay. Um, uh, I've been a staff here about five years. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Uh, at first, when I joined the department, where all the the departments member, all the all of them are my my guru, my lecturer. Um, at first, feel very. Uh, in, uh, in, uh, serendah diri, yeah, inferior. Nak tulis, nak reply email pun. Replying email is big matter for me. Well, during my first three months. Uh, however, during the, that time, I remember my um, unofficial mentors, all the um, kakak kakak just back from, uh, for example, like we have a uh, academic trainees. They just joined the department. Then 
they are senior, for example, like one year, two year, they are assisting me. Yeah? Uh, just as uh, our facial expression, did they already know? Is there anything that we you can you want us to explain or whatever? I, I need to just give credit to all the to all of them, especially uh, the our department, Deba. I think it's very um, I'm really really honored and lucky to be there because of the biah there. All the sister we have, even we have we call bawang room, onion room there in our level four, just to eat and to listen stories. Uh, so that we can better understand others, which is very important to know. Then we will start have concern. What about others? Not only just passing hi, salam alaikum, but now we know. Oh, this uh, grandmother is not very healthy. For example, accident and other. Then can create empathy and care. I think we. I got it from Deba. Thank you very much, and I believe. Other departments too, they have their, they have their environment. So I think this is the thing, the stories that we need to tell others. Don't highlight the negative part. Like we need to have like B eyes, right? See all the good things and then you'll see there's a lot of very, very good things here in IUM. Then the love will come. I think that's all my sharing. Membawang tu penting eh. Membawang is... Uh, mem Laki boleh masuk tak bilik tu? <laughs> Laki boleh masuk lah. The, the women's needs membawang. So I, I believe every level we have like membawang sports lah. Uh, maybe to clarification, eh? membawang is not like bad biting. Sometimes we see advice about kids, about feelings. And this is very important. Eh? Okay, betul tak? Support, support. <laughs> I got one question here from the WhatsApp. <laughs> okay, I think I want to comment from all the panelists. You said that what are the strategies to initiate and nurture relationship among seniors and junior in the departments and Kulia? I think uh, <laughs> so. I repeat. Eh? What are the strategies to initiate and, and nurture relationship between seniors and juniors? Within the department, Kulia University. Yes. Oh, okay. Action plans, action plans. Strategies. I think head of department should answer this. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. I mean, it, it should be both. Uh, possibly, this is my 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 comment. Um, we can assign. Um, you know, because every department they have. Uh, Maybe they can go by team, by common teams. Uh, let's say, uh, let's say in accounting we have uh, certain areas, management accounting or financial, or maybe public sector accounting. So you can go by team, and within that, uh, seniors and juniors are combined together. And definitely, um, but if you ask me, I mean that that's been the tradition actually. Um, if you you know like like ourselves, like myself, definitely when you know when you return from your studies. You have to teach a new subject, and um, and sometimes you are not uh, in the area. So uh, definitely, we did lecturers, seniors, and juniors uh, helping each other. I think definitely that's that's basically one is informally between staff. The other, if you uh, as the word strategy is mentioned, definitely uh, something that the the department have to plan and the kulia have to plan. Then uh, then they have. They can assign, uh, and I strongly believe that our senior staff are more than happy to help. And and I strongly believe that our junior staff they are very capable and they are highly motivated to contribute. Uh, I think in that sense, um, yeah, by my experience as well, I I found no problems, and and they can uh, produce uh, excellent result definitely. My quick, uh, you can. Uh, just quickly, just uh, two points uh, to address this uh, question: the strategy to uh, to matter, to to bring the mentor mentorization right. Two things here. One is that uh, no, we should be looking for opportunity to help. 
So we know that uh, someone is doing this research and this person uh, needs help. It is very clear. So we should be coming forward proactive. So we should be coming forward proactively to help this. So we should be looking opportunity to help others. So this is one. Secondly, that uh, uh, senior staff, those who are well experienced, they can also be proactive to conduct workshops, uh, like uh, how to write uh, FRGS proposal. Uh, you know, FRGS proposal is very tough, very competitive because it's across Malaysia. But one of my friends in Kuliap Engineering, he said that whenever I have applied FRGS, I have got it. My application has never been declined. <laughs> so that means uh, I know the quality of the, of, the, of the research. So if there is a quality, inshallah it will be approved. But you know, there are some many factors, the, the limited fund and also some other factors sometimes, even though the quality is very high, but in general, if the quality is there, hopefully it will be accepted. That is uh, my, my opinion. Now, how to write this? So those who have uh, FRGS projects, they can volunteer. They can volunteer to help others to, uh, to, to give the tips. Similarly, that publication in high impact journals, now everybody is doing this, I see. So we can also help uh, by maybe half an hour, one hour, though it takes, uh, it, it is longer time, but anyway, uh, we, can, we can also give some uh, workshops, uh, help like even SPSS, even AMOS in many other cases, even teaching also we can share each other. So this is the way also we can uh, help each other. Thank you. We like to comment. Yeah. <laughs> uh, two main avenues for you to get connected and to identify who can be your mentor or your mentee. First, don't miss the kuliah meeting. Because that's the avenue that we meet each other. Second, ibadah camp. That's all. Maybe if I can add. Uh, um, uh, sometime, I mean, among the colleagues, uh, we have to also be alert. Uh, because um, maybe for ourselves, we have that, uh, you know, some motivation, we can approach other member staff, regardless of either they're juniors or seniors. But uh, they, we have also have to be alert among our colleagues, uh, if you, we find that uh, they have that problems, uh, for whatever reason, because uh, we, we don't know the, the you know, the personal uh, issues and others. So I, I think, uh, other stuff that you know you are more proactive and if you have all these ideas we can always approach them and uh, and bring them together uh, with us uh, just like you know uh, dr uh, mahudi mentioned uh, so with these uh, friendships and uh, close association that can create some you know can help each other i think that is also important Okay, uh, we still have more time. Anybody would like to ask? I think two more questions can before we wrap up. Yeah, see. Uh, Ridwan, is your area management? <laughs> yeah, can I ask a question? Yeah, am I? Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum barakatuh. Um, so during the day as a OB lecturer, I was analyzing um, the discussion. And I, I don't know whether people are familiar with this, but actually in OB, what we know is that um, 5% of human behavior is actually determined by rational processes. And 95% is non-rational. Non-rational doesn't mean irrational. Non-rational means 
it's not rational, but it's not irrational. It's somewhere in, in, in the middle. So for example, non-rational behavior will be friendship, love, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So actually all of the Uhua issues is related to non-rational behavior. But all the discussion has been rational. <laughs> So I think this is one of the problems with Ohua is that it's actually very difficult to put it into words, but it's something that has to be experienced. And so um, I think that if we want to have more Ohua in the Kulia, we have to create more experiences so that people can feel it, but without you know, over-rationalizing and over-analyzing it, if you see what I mean, voila, voila. That's true. You should have. There should, there should be more sharing, especially when you succeed. It should be under the kulia, not so much for the department. I mean, this department, okay, but kulia is, should be get the, you know, the main thing. Yeah, sister. Anna, sister tadi. Dr. Aniza, ask Aniza. What's the question? <laughs> Any question? There's not, I thought, from the sisters. Yeah, anybody? Prof Swami, ada. <laughs> yeah, Prof. One from you, Prof. <laughs> I'm Robert Tua. Okay, we do the wrap up session now. And then I will also say something. All right, who like to? Ah, that's it, lah. Yeah, wrap up. <laughs> you you may realize I eh, one of the um. Um, like a figures, mentor, mentee figures within the kulia. Anyone to guess? That we realize that they have been a very good pair, giving impact impacts to the community, to the kulia. Anyone would like to guess? And, and this mentor mentee may not be established formally, but there has been a impactful duo or pairs between seniors and junior staff. In Kulia Economics, in uh, Department of Economics, for example, um, for example, mentor mentee, Prof. Aslam and, um, ah, siapa? Prof. Aslam and? Dr. Yassad. Okay. Deba, Cik Yusof, Suhaimi. Kan? Accounting? Ah. Tak nak mengaku tu. Accounting? Accounting semua junior kot kan? <laughs> semua forever young kan accounting ni? Accounting? Dr. Hero kot. Dr. Hero and? Ha, Prof. Ni and? Kak Putri kan? Kak Putri and? What about Department Finance? Department Finance? Dr. Sharifa Rehan and Dr. Slili. <laughs> so as a conclusion, okay, um, these are the important aspects lah, that we that I can wrap up from my talks just now. Okay, that we need to understand why we are here. Okay, although it's for rational or under-rational reasons. 
and we have to have a strategy how to achieve our objectives. We have to work as a one team, okay, one kuliah team across all departments. And, uh, and we have to know our reasons here and we have to have clear monitoring, constant monitoring and uh, have uh, leaders, lah, okay, monitor being a leaders uh, to the group. Okay, um, one last note, eh? one last note. Um, uh, okay, on personal note, okay, on a certain note, because um, all of you knows that I'm actually, I'm actually from uh, law, school of law, but of all the kulia, somehow I I was I'm ended here in the economics, and I guess that's because of my intention. Uh, I have been setting my intention in my life, whatever that I've, I I'll I'll be doing. Whatever the cost of the age of my life, my intention is to, to contribute to the ummah. So whatever career, whatever the path that Allah has set down for me, that's my intention. So, and initially, I want to become the experts in law of succession for eight. I've, I've, I've good in for eight, you know. Okay, one of, I got A in for eight courses. But somehow Allah has a better plan for me. So I'm ended here. And one of my great mentor when I was assigned uh, in the kuliah was Dr. Azmi Omar. Dr. Azmi, Dr. Ahmad Kamil. Okay. Uh, and these are two great mentors that I've learned a lot from them. And I remember uh, after I reported duty four months, okay, four months after I reported duty, uh, I, I met Dr. Azmi, Dr. Dr. Azmi, uh, saying that this is my plan, in my area, maybe I'm going to go into Islamic finance because you know, Islamic finance is very new. And, and at that time, I was about to take uh, unpaid leave for accompanying Dr. Ashraf to pursue his master. And Dr. Azmi said, Irwani, since you're going to accompany Ashraf to UK for master, why don't you do your PhD straight away? I said, oh, no, no, Dato. Uh, because I think PhD is something very big. And because I've just four months, as a staff. So I see something which is beyond reach. But Dr. Azmi and Dr. Ahmad Kamil encouraged me. Encourage me. No, go ahead. Okay. You apply your PhD while Ashraf doing his master. <laughs> so the rest was history. Okay, because of certain reason, uh, I uh, the university that I apply, Manchester, I was with Dr. Murni, Professor Murni uh, ICT. She got admitted in April, but I got deferred because I was pregnant. So all of plans always prevail. And somehow I ended doing PhD together with Dr. Ashraf, uh, starting in 1st May 2002 and finished at the same time, got GOT, <laughs> uh, three years, both of, both of us. And we ended here in Kula Economics. So ended I'm in Islamic finance area. So that's all lost plan. So my point is that whatever that you want to achieve in, in this world, set your intention clear. And with that intention, Allah will guide all the way. Your path will be very nice. Okay, although there are ups and downs uh, in your path, don't worry. That's part of the uh, tarbiyah modules in the madrasa Allah. Because all of us here are in madrasa Allah. Okay, and in madrasa, there are, for example, tests, assignments, uh, what? Test, assignment, test, assignment, deadlines, non ending trials until we die. Okay, so that's all. So, one of the tests is here, being part of the Kulia, and it's also a, a venue of us to do the best, to, to contribute the best to others, and hopefully, uh, we'll make use of, of our time in, your, in, in this Kulia. Okay, another reason why I think I'm grateful in Kulia economy because here I tell you. The environment is very much encouraging in terms of research. And believe me, we are not that, what we call, we have like political centric. We like, we are the same in this kuliah. Different from other kuliah. Other kuliah, different, I tell you. But kuliah economy, we are basically the same. Regardless who you are with your title, some are not. Don't feel inferior. Eh? Okay? So regardless you are senior or junior, get connect to each other and for the senior be humble keep being humble and keep guiding the junior inshallah all will be well assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh
So, Prof. Dutton. Yeah, Prof, you would like to say some? Uh, again, <laughs> um, I joined this university in 1998, 13th January, meaning that uh, coming 12th January 2023, I will be completing, inshallah, 25 years. 25 years. So uh, it is a great blessing to me from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to work in this university, particularly in this kulia. I am so happy, so glad, so grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, this is a wonderful uh, environment uh, where uh, I have been working in the last, since, since 25 years is a very long time. So that clearly shows that uh, I am so happy. Uh, working here. I get all the cooperation from all the staff. Uh, so inshallah, uh, one day of course uh, we have to leave. This is the reality, but that will be a very sad part of my life. But anyway, uh, I wish uh, uh, this environment, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we all same, we all together. And inshallah together we, uh, uh, we work for the kulia, we for the university and we work for the Ummah, inshallah. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks uh, for this session. Um, I mean, for colleagues and others, definitely uh, we are in a, a very good place. And uh, this is our opportunity uh, to make this place, uh, you know, a special place. And uh, we are entrusted uh, with resources, uh, with ourselves, and definitely with our students. And uh, it's, it's a great asset of the nation, to, not only for our nation, as well as for other Muslim countries, as well as, you know, uh, our students who are coming from others, other countries, uh, not necessarily uh, from uh, Islamic countries. So um, we have that opportunity. Um, so definitely it is uh, up to us to make this Play special, and uh, I pray to God, to Allah, that uh, we can contribute. Uh, you know, uh, not as um, because we take ownership of this place, and to make sure that uh, you know we work together and and uh, you know to achieve something uh, which is meaningful, and for us, uh, for this life as well as uh, life here after. Thank you. Inshallah, uh, the last one. Okay. Um, apa yang saya suka dengan kuliah ekonomi? Okay. Actually, I've been in kuliah ekonomi back in the years of 86. Okay. I was with the kuliah of economics for one and a half year before I was transferred for the matriculation, matriculation center during that time. Uh, and now, we call it CFS for almost 36 years. So I returned back. I don't know why. They put me back again in the kuliah. Okay. So the environment um, seems um, a good environment. And among the lecturers also, most of them are retired and still a few yeah, that I know. But I'm not so sure whether they are recognized me or not. But <laughs> Inshallah, uh, maybe from time to time, uh, I will know them. Um, Alhamdulillah, shukur to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, maybe this is the last and the final place that I can uh, working with. Okay, So I have another two or three years uh, or, or four years, something like that, before I also going to be retired. Yeah. So inshallah, thanks uh, to all of you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, okay, salam. So, meaning that all of us here are going to retire. Wait, wait, can I want to say something? No, I mean, all of us here are going to retire very soon, huh? because the, the, the <laughs> old song. Okay, for my side, uh, thank you very much. And before we break, I'd just like to summarize some of these points that has been mentioned. Number one, they have a very good uh, mental mentee relationship uh, and brotherhood and so on. There must be communication, right? You must talk. If we keep our uh, things to ourselves, uh, it will not work. Okay, especially you must express ourselves. Okay, sincerely, uh, right or wrong, it's not matter. 
Okay, if you keep things to yourself, then it will only pile up inside your, your, own, your own body. Right? But now we also have fully ourselves. <laughs> Maybe that could be another way uh, we can express ourselves. Number two, there must be a very good interpersonal relation. Right? You must take care of our brothers and sisters. All right? Just now they give an example. The panelists mentioned about, I think, community mentioned about building clusters. Uh, in the kulia, that would be good in the, in, in the department. Look for things which is very common, mentioned as the strategies. So inter, interpersonal relation, of course, in uh, Islam, it just, just means silatul rahim, ukwah, it's mentioned many times. The third one, there has to be continuity. Uh, proper Rafiqul uh, mentioned. There must be an intention that you want to do and do more. Okay? There must be continuity and sustainability. That shows that we are a class. Uh, that we want to do more. And the last one, you must feel good. Uh, to help people, you must feel good. All right? So I'm trying to find uh, the Islamic closeness to that. To me, it's sadaqah. Lah. Okay? It's sadaqah. When you use sadaqah, it's not only sadaqah for money. Yeah? Sadaqah for a kitchen and all this. Okay? Sadaqah is, can also be a smile. Okay? If you smile, it's also a form of sadaqah. And make dua for others. Okay? So that's for, for me. I hope everybody is happy for today's session, inshallah. And I hand over to Brother Aslam. Yeah. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Thank you very much, um, all the panelists. Uh, give them, please give them a big round of applause. I think uh, we, uh, we learn a lot today, especially when you share your personal experiences. Yeah, uh, that, that's, that's very good. In fact, uh, uh, when I was listening to this forum, I was thinking why um, this is important. I mean, why mentor and mentee relationship should exist? What is the purpose of this mentor and mentee, what exactly we are going to gain. Then I just remember the hadith. I always, uh, you know, tell this hadith. This is amazing hadith. There is an answer. Why mentor and mentee should have, should, should unite together. Why? What is the purpose? So Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to say this, Ballighu anni walaw ayah. Whatever you heard from me, you go around and you convey to everyone. Then there is one thing Prophet Sallallahu said, I don't think in this world anyone said like that. No scholar, no one has beautifully said this like Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, Rubba muballaghin awa min sami'in. Beautiful hadith. Prophet said, perhaps to whom it is conveyed, the, the message to whom you convey he may understand better than the person who convey. It is amazing. You, 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 you may not know how many uh, uh, unknown tabi'een they created Imam Abu Hanifa. They are tabi'een. They created Imam Shafi'i. How many sahaba they created tabi'een. In fact, uh, you go back to school. How many school teachers created us? They, we do, I mean, we learn from them, but, but they are unknown, but we are professors here. Subhanallah. So, so this is amazing why it is necessary so that these things can go on. You teach, our job is to teach. So this is the relationship between alim and muta'allim. Mudarris wa talib. So we keep on teaching so our, our next generation will understand and will do better. Uh, amazing uh, forum. Thank you so much for this. Uh, Jazakumullah khair one more time. Uh, so we have a few uh, briefing and few announcement uh, before we end the session. Yeah. Um, uh, yes. Uh, what we are going to do tomorrow, I just have to tell you exactly so that you can prepare yourself. Uh, it's a kind of, there is no lecture tomorrow. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> There is no talk, no lecture tomorrow. So it's going to be like, because this is one of the objective agenda of Ibadah camp, 
that we should be practically doing something. So somehow, Alhamdulillah, our team, uh, we came up uh, with few ideas and uh, we are inshallah going to do that. So the first thing that it will be, it is called Ukhuwa race. Race. Yeah, much amazing race too. Huh? <laughs> so it's going to be Ukhuwa race. Inshallah, I will call uh, Dr. Hafiz uh, to come here and uh, brief. He is leading our Ukhuwa race tomorrow in the morning. Yeah, uh, inshallah, he will come and brief you uh, what exactly we want you to do uh, from 9 until 12.30. So it's going to be three hours, right? Three and a half hours, yeah? Then 12.30, there is another spectacular team led by Dr. Olin is going to give you a revang food. Oh, and we have a very nice group, mashallah. They are going to cook tomorrow and you are going to see them how they are cooking. I don't know how to cook, I'm sorry. So, so we are going to have a Ukhuwa race followed by Rewang. Yeah, we are going to have a food in Masjid. Then in the afternoon, we are going to have a multimedia sharing session which will be somewhere beside Masjid. I think it is LT1, Lecture Theater 1. Tomorrow we'll find out where it is, beside Masjid, whereby we are going to show you some clips from Bosnia, from China, and also um, Prof. Ruzita is going to even present, uh, you know, how uh, disabled, disabled people, they are actually how they are united together. We are going to learn a lot tomorrow through media, all right? And then we are also going to have some session with uh, all of you to talk about the reflections, whatever that you learn uh, from Ukhuwa race, uh, inshallah you can share with us. Uh, with that, uh, we are finishing tomorrow, but um, again, tomorrow it's not ending. It's a long night is coming. Tomorrow night, we are going to have a Qiyamul Layl. Let's see how many of you are coming. <laughs> All right. I will talk to you about Qiyamul Lail. Uh, now let me call uh, Dr. Hafiz to give, you, give us the briefing on what do we expect from Ukhuwa Reish. Please come. Thank you so much, Dr. Hafiz. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Okay, for to all the staff, uh, I myself also cannot walk properly for tomorrow. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm only arranging this actually with the assistance of my few committee members who are young. <laughs> okay, uh, so, <laughs> I don't think I can <laughs> do this tomorrow. Okay. So I can also say that not really Okuwa race now, it's Okuwa walk, uh, something like that. Okay. So, inshallah, what we will do today um, is just uh, today, tomorrow morning, <laughs> tomorrow morning is uh, to just do some light exercise, but do it as a group walking. To, uh, and we have selected few different locations okay, uh, in this university. Uh, might be some of us also don't know where. I, I cannot say so, so because secret. <laughs> uh, tomorrow you will know. But after few discussion, cannot be too far, cannot be on the, on the hill, ne just need to be on something. <laughs> Apa yang rata tak boleh bukit, uh, then taking all that into consideration, we have just selected a few, which I think within our abilities lah. Not, but not me, but not me. <laughs> uh, I'm not still yet really really guy. So what I just would like to do is to uh, brief you on uh, what to do tomorrow. 
So first thing is um, we hope that you have be already ready in your sport attire. Okay. So if you want to change after uh, after the program, maybe during the break in the afternoon, so um, you can bring uh, another set of clothes or whatever. Okay. So, but please be ready when you come to office tomorrow. Be in the sport attire. That first. Okay. Uh, please gather at uh, our sejahtera, uh, sejahtera Hall, we call. By 8.30, inshallah, uh, the breakfast will be prepared a uh, pack over there. Okay. A uh, pack breakfast. So, when you reach Sejahtera Hall, uh, we will have, uh, you need to select some random numbers which we prepare in order for us to group you into 10 groups. Okay. So once you reach there, you can pick your random, randomly pick the numbers. Then if you come early, then you can pick your pack breakfast. If you want to eat, uh, immediately you can, or if you want to bring with you while you are doing the walking also possible. Okay. So that uh, is first thing okay so once you have fit your numbers uh, so you will know your group we uh, i think uh, what we want you to do is the group will need to select one leader lah. okay one leader for each group okay at nine before we do the walking together to some of the selected location uh, inshallah, we will start with a light exercise. Alhamdulillah, Dr. Jasmine. You know Dr. Jasmine? I have mentioned a few times. Usually, the first question asked is, Dr. Jasmine is female or male? Uh, Dr. Jasmine is male. Yeah? Dr. Jasmine is over there from Bosnia. Okay, uh, So, uh, he will lead some light exercise first at 9 o'clock. Inshallah, we will start for five to ten minutes okay once we have done that uh, inshallah we will give you the envelopes uh, for you uh, for the location which you need to go and the activities which you need to do are not very difficult activities either you are asked to ask simple question at the location uh, which we ask you to go uh, there might be some question related to that location or just take pictures. Okay, uh, that the only activities uh, you need to do. And there are one, two, three, six location, six location, uh, uh, checkpoint, <laughs> checkpoint <laughs> location or checkpoint. Don't worry, it is not up the hill. It is not too far. We have to take all that into consideration. But you just need to walk together uh, to six location, and the last location will be at the mosque where the Rewang groups are doing their cooking. Uh, so if you are, uh, don't arrive too early because the food might not be ready. <laughs> okay. okay, but what is in our mind is um, if you reach there and it's the food if ready, uh, then you can start. But six including the most. Okay, including the most. Six including the most. Okay, uh, so our our idea, if the cook food is ready, because it will be served in talam, correct? Uh, in talam, apa nak cakap se Inggeris tak tahu in talam. Okay, uh, so we we eat together. Okay, we eat together. So most probably, um, uh, of course, the group uh, will have mixtures of male and female. So we just would ask you to observe lah you uh, the the what do you want to say uh, yeah. uh, when uh, if if feel like apa benda ya? saya pun lupa dah uh, tapi bila makan tu nanti samalah group sisters dengan sisters brother dengan brother okay so so that uh, what else uh, what else i need to be very careful because if not i might be releasing the location already um Okay. Are you clear? You clear what you need to do tomorrow? Uh, the location just nearby, not, not really a problem. Okay. And uh, not really a problem. Uh, 
Ah, I know lah. Uh, my committee also know. The committee members also know. If you want, you risik risik lah dengan dia lah. Dia di mana? Uh, uh, but as I mentioned, taking into all suggestion consideration, I hope will not be uh, too difficult. So just need to enjoy the walk. And of course, we also have uh, put the announcement for Strava. So that could also be included as part of the Strava, calculating the step uh, by Dr. Ahmad. Okay, I think many of you have already registered. Uh, so hopefully that could also be uh, uh, included. Uh, I need to also mention at each location, there will be our committee member over there. Okay, uh, our committee member, two of uh, two at each location. Uh, we will have some uh, mineral water if you are need need some mineral water over there. And of course, we will be waiting for the food from the red one groups. Okay, something which might be very delicious. Okay, so thank you very much. I think that is all. I hope you are clear what you need to do tomorrow. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Okay, thank you, Dr. Dr. Hafiz. Uh, I think that's that's what actually uh, tells you uh, what to expect from Uhuwa race or walk. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll do that, yeah? Some of you might be racing, some of you walking. The most important thing that you have to go together once your group is assigned, you have to wait for everyone to bring together. It's not that the young fellow go first and then the others go behind. Right, it's not like that. It's not about who comes first, who who finishes first. It's all about you have to finish the race. That's that makes you. I we hope that's that's what makes you. You know, we follow. We take this uhuwa. Huh? That's what actually the idea of brotherhood and sisterhood. So that's the thing. Then, um, as I said, the next agenda is Rawang. Then we have multimedia sharing and also reflection from all all the leaders. Uh, group leaders. Then we are going to have a Kiamul Lail. Uh, of course, by 5 p.m. we will finish our program tomorrow by 5 p.m. Then the next day, 5 a.m. Uh, next day, 5 a.m., there will be a Kiamul Lail. Uh, we plan to have it in uh, Ummah Sijatra Hall. So, so male staff are encouraged to bring your bed and sleep inside the Sajahatra Hall. You are encouraged. Female, uh, we have other plans for you. Uh, Dr. Afifa will share with you the ma'asurat, uh, those, of course, you also expected to do tahajjud in your house. Yeah, we will do here, male, but female, you will do in your place. And then also follow the ma'asurat, then you will come back for Friday, same place we will have a tafsir and tadabbur session, which is going to be the last session Friday. Then there will be closing ceremony. Then there will be prize giving, all going to be here yeah, on Friday, right? From 8.30, yes? Uh, no, no, before 8.30 8 in the morning, Friday. So there is no program after Friday prayer. Yeah, so we are going to, technically we are two and a half, not three days, yeah? So uh, that's all about it. Um, okay, uh, about attendance, Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Dr. Fifa. She opened all three uh, attendance uh, slots for you. If you missed, if some of you missed, you can now go back and do the attendance. Yeah, you can do it now. It's all open, all three. If you missed, you can do it now. Um, then, uh, yes, uh, there is also a reflection book project is going on. So whatever you learn from today and tomorrow you are going to learn, please write it. It is also at the end of the year, the upper is coming. Yeah? Scary, scary yeah? upper is coming. So we can do something. We can, we can publish something. Uh, you can write. Um, I also would like to share some news with you that um, I think most of you know already. Uh, Dr. Wan Ruhaida's uh, grandmother passed away in Nalullahi wa inna alihi rajiun. Let us uh, pray for her. Let us uh, recite Surah Al-Fatiha. 
and and pray for her al fatiha a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin ar rahman ar rahim maliki yawmiddin iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in ihdina siratal mustaqim siratal ladhina an'amta 'alaihim ghairil maghdubi 'alaihim walad dhalin amin allahumma ighfir laha wa rahmha wa a'fha wa a'fanha allahumma tuhib nuzulaha wa wasi' madkhalha wa tuhibha bil ma'i wal khayr wal bar wa nafqha min khataya kama nafqta wal ladhina min qablik اللهم ارحم خلفاء جنتك اللهم اجعلنا من عباده الذين اتبعوك بالحق وتنجاذ بالنار اللهم اجعلنا من الصالحين اولسو اي هاف انذر نيوز تو شير ويز يو وي نيد يور برايرز فور دكتور زبيداس اند دكتور فاطمه فادر اولريدي ادميتد تو ذا هوسبيتال اي ثينك ذس از ذا ثرد تايم هي ستيل سفرينج فروم ذا سيم ديزيز ذات هي هاد بيفور سو ليت اس براي فور the father of uh, dr uh, zabida and dr fatima and um, all right i think that's all uh, we have uh, uh, we have refreshments for you so please enjoy and then there will be a jamaa prayer in in umma sajatra hall for us sir so that conclude today let's see tomorrow inshallah assalam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh tomorrow's umma sayatra hal